Hi, this is Zach Mead with the US Chart Breakers here at Zach's Traders Cafe for Thursday, the 1st of February. And uh, J January ended off uh, with a rather weak note, but with something we were prepared for. We were all expecting 48.40, which was resistance on the way up. Below that, 47.90 to 4,800 potential support uh, zones. Uh, worst case, probably at the moment, it would be 4,700 at the 50-day moving average. Uh, the other points to note, I suppose, are the way that uh, 4,740 marks the floor of that rising trend channel from October. So if we can rebound from that area today, it would be quite a win. On the upside, 51.10 now, the top of that rising trend channel, which obviously at the moment feels as though it is quite a long way away. Moving on to the stocks and some progress so in terms of recent uh, uh, situations that we've looked at. One or two targets uh, have been hit, but uh, with Ashland, I haven't looked at this before, the shares gapping up through uh, a rising 50-day moving average. And uh, the while the shares are above the old December resistance around $89.00 looking for a move to the top of the rising trend channel from back in May last year. As high as $103 by the end of this month. The next stock is one that uh, was uh, certainly on our radar, Bit Origin, and uh, very nice to see that the shares uh, not only uh, hit, broke or hit our initial target there, around $5.50. Above that, we're looking for $10, which was the new extended target as soon as the end of this month. So we're a pretty simple setup there. Moving on to another riser, uh, which is Semtrex. And here, a uh, massive key reversal off the low there, which is which looks very significant. Above recent resistance, around 380, looking for at least the 50-day moving average at $5 over the next couple of weeks, hopefully even sooner. You can see there's a gap there around the $4.30 area. End of day close above that should power the shares up towards that June resistance line as high as $5.50 after the uh, 50 day line is taken out going on to um, this uh, next situation which is guardian and uh, here you can see massive move to the upside we had an end of day close above the 50 day moving average uh, at the end of last week and uh, the shares are rather at the beginning of this week and uh, shares had a little dip after that but then gapped through the 50 day line and uh, hit a resistance line projection there from march last year that is running at around uh, ten dollars uh, 50 and uh, while we're above recent uh, resistance the september october resistance in the eight dollar area we've got a chance of revisiting that over the next week or two so ten dollars plus while we're above the eight dollar area on guardian uh, one uh, stock which has uh, plenty of social media uh, interest is uh, gin medical and here you've got that rising trend channel U-shaped bull flag suggests that we can head up to the uh, 340 level over the next uh, few sessions or even by the end of this week, I suppose it's possible. Uh, the uh, recent resistance around $220 above that, we're looking for 340 and the top of that rising trend channel from back in December. Uh, another winner, which uh, we have looked at very recently, is uh, Minim. And here, gapping through a rising 50-day moving average, uh, we were hoping, I suppose, for the... Uh, Recent resistance, January resistance around $5.80 to be uh, taken out. I think the shares uh, just uh, fell a bit short of that, but uh, have another go and uh, through the $6 area up to $12 by the end of next month if everything goes well. On the downside, we don't want to see the shares on the wrong side of that uh, 50-day line at $2.60. Moving ahead to a new name here, Powell. And uh, here, Powell Industries... Uh, Gapping up through a 50-day uh, moving average after a gap. And uh, while we're above the old December resistance, around uh, $98, looking for a little bit more, a little bit more on the upside, as high as uh, $134 by the end of this month at a May 2023 resistance line projection. Plug Power has made lots of uh, appearances here over the uh, recent past. And uh, we'll see from the chart perhaps why. But uh, the latest... Uh, rally attempt we had one back in may last year and that was uh, reasonable the late, rate, latest rally attempt through the 50-day moving average is um, looking strong that's around the uh, four dollar area above four dollars looking for top of that triangle there from november as high as six dollars by the end of this month on to a coffee play apparently a reborn coffee and uh, here you can see that uh, we bounced off the floor of a rising trend channel base in place since uh, august around the two dollars sixty level Above that, the initial target, the 50-day line, $3.95, and then hoping for up to $6.50 by the end of next month, we can get a pretty swift break of that 50-day line early in February. 
down to the last three and the first one is uh, centage and uh, here you can see a nice uh, rebound off the rising 50-day line that tends to be a decent con uh, continuation signal that's around two dollars twenty above that looking for up to five dollars by the end of this month um, ideally we break through recent resistance around the uh, three dollar mark over the next session or two I covered uh, this latest stock uh, yesterday, 270 Bio, and uh, shares just nudging that initial target there, which is very kind of them, around $6. End of day close above $6, and we're looking at up to $8.75, which is the upper parallel of that rising trend, uh, trend channel base in place since August. On the downside, I'd like to see the shares stay on the right side of the $4.20 area, the old January peak. That's it from me today. More updates tomorrow.